I'm going to attempt to leave one screen up and, and write on the other one. Are you, are you going to be happy with that? No. Which one do you want me to record? I don't show one. Uh, show the... The doc cam. Okay, if you know what you're doing, just keep working because uh, you'll learn more by doing it yourself. But over here, we'll attempt to do it together. I'll do the first one. Okay, you tell me what to write next. No, I want to do the labeling. Don't talk to me about augmenting paths. I want to do the labeling. I'm a computer. I'm doing something incredibly systematic. Yes. We're trying to find the cuts. We're labeling the points on the left. Scan from S. Scan from S in pseudo alphabetic order. Look with edges S T, S A. S B, S C, S D. Did I do that correctly? So, can I label D? Yes, I label D with what triple? S plus twenty. Any arguments about that labeling? I continue my scan. S E. Yes, E gets a label from S in the positive direction. And what's the amount? 37. All right, I keep scanning from S. OK, but you can see, oh, no, I get down to uh, G. So G also gets a label from S. And what's the amount? 7. OK? Any questions on those three labels? So that completes the scan from S. So I've scanned from here, and now I drop down and scan from here. First labeled, first scan. So I look D to T. No. D to A. It's empty, can't do, use it. I don't look at, at the D to B. Oh, D to B. Can I label B? What's the label I put on B? B gets its label from D in which direction? Plus, and what's the amount? Okay. OK, the spare capacity is 23, and the amount on D is 20, so I can only push across 20. OK, I'm scanning from, I'm scanning from D. A B, C, I can label C, can't I? I get it from D in the positive direction, and what amount? 7, because while I can get uh, 20 to uh, D, I've only got a spare capacity of 7. Okay, now I'm scanning from D. Uh, I don't look at DE, I've already labeled E. I don't look at, uh, I do look at DF. Right? No, no edge. DG, uh, there isn't a G. Oh, yeah, there is. D, I've already, I've already no, DG, G is already labeled. Don't look at that one. So that, that completes the scan from D. Now you move down and scan from E. Again, the order that you do the scan is that first label, first scan rubric. So now you scan from E to see new things. You look at E, T, E, A, E, B, but you've already labeled B. E, C, uh, no edge. E, D, you've already labeled D. E, F, no edge. E, G, there is no G. Okay, so the scan is, is done. Oh, there is a G, but you've already labeled it. Scan from E is done. 
Now you drop down to G. You scan from G looking for new things, but you can see the neighbors of G have already been labeled. So that completes that scan. Now you drop down to B. You scan from B. Anything new from B? Nothing new from B? All the ones that you would want to use, are all, they're all full. You can't use it. Drop down, scan from C. Okay, you try to label the sink, but you can't. Now you look at the other neighbors, D is already labeled, but the first one you would look at would be A. And can you label A? Yep, you can label A. And what would be the label on A? C, but you're going backwards. The amount on C is 7, but the flow on that edge is only 5, so you can't take away more than the flow on the edge, so that amount is 5. Question? Because the edge from B to A is full. You can't go forward on an edge which is full. You can go backwards on an edge which isn't empty. The edge CA goes backwards, goes from C, points, actually points from A to C. So as you travel from C to A, you're going backwards, and that edge isn't empty. So I label a with that triple. Okay, and that's all you can do from C. So now you drop down and you scan from A, and you first attempt to label T, and you can't. Then you go all the other vertices and you do them in order and you reject them because they're already labeled until you get down to AF. Can you label F? Yes. Okay. And what's the labeling on F? It gets it from A. In what direction? Again, it's in the negative direction. And what's the amount? It's only three. Because there's only, you get the potential to get five to A, but you've only got a spirit, an excess flow of three on that edge. And so the amount is three. Okay, and that will complete the scan from A, then you drop down and you scan from F. And the first thing you do is attempt to label the sink, and voila, you can do it. And so the label on the sink is T, F, in the plus direction, and what's going to be the amount? Three. All right, so now I have my augmenting path, which I get from backtracking. T got its label from F. F got its label from A. A got its label from C. C got its label from D. D got its label from S. So that's the augmenting path, and if I was paying a little bit more attention as I was doing that, I could have recovered which edges in that path are forward and which edges are backwards. I make changes on those edges only. I go plus three on the forward edges and minus three on the backwards edges. And the value of the flow will increase from its current value, and its current value is 57 plus 60 plus 19. What's that? No, I'm sorry. 20 plus 40 plus 12, that's 60, it's 72, and it'll go up to 75. Now, this example was made up very similar to ours, and it comes right off of an old test. Uh, if you try to do the labeling algorithm a second time on this, it will halt. So the 75 that we just produced is the answer. And when you do it a second time, uh, then the labeling algorithm will halt, and you will find your, your cut. <laughs>